Okay, so what I did now, I changed the styling a little bit. So I created a text box and I put a placeholder in there to say, end your sentence here. And then I put a little message down here to say number of words in a sentence. And then this is the ultimate number that we want. So to do that, I just changed this here. So I changed the placeholder into your sentence. I add that here in the inbox. Then I created a div here, the number of words. And then I set up a div that I had before. I created a span with a word count. And ultimately, we want to inject the right words in here. So what we want to do now is we want to get hold of the text box in our JavaScript and our DOM code. So let's have a look. So in our DOM code, we want to get hold of here. We want to get hold of, we create a constant here. This is not going to change. We're going to say sentence element in the DOM. We're going to say document dot query selector and then I'm going to go dot sentence so that is an element for the sentence and I also want to create a word count element then I'll say document document dot query selector for that I also want to say dot word count okay so we have that and then so what we want to say now is we want to actually add an event to the sentence element so when the sentence element is changing we want to get whatever is entered in there so now I want to say sentence element dot add event listener the event listener I want to do is key up so there's lots of different events. Key up is the event is getting fired when the key is being released. So let's have a look before we do anything. So now we do console.log. Then we do sentence element dot value. So let's have a look what's happening. If we do this, run that sentence element. So now a refresh control shift I and if I type here the cat I expect something to happen down here okay the reason that's not working is because what we haven't done we haven't linked our DOM code to our HTML file so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to script tag down here and you'll see where I'm adding this I'm adding this below my DOM because what I'm need, oh, so I actually want to reference my DOM code. So I've got words dom.js. Now I've linked that up. So let's have a look if I refresh that now. No error. So it's actually finding the file. So the okay, user message is looking here. So whatever I'm typing in here, I'm gonna I'm getting that the cat. Okay, so that's working great. So every time I do key up, things are happening here. The cat ran over the road okay so that seems to be working so what I need to do now is I need to take the function that I created which is called word counter and I will link that to my DOM so now here what I want to say is I want to say so let's for the time being just display the word count on the console I'm going to say word counter and then we want to say something like this then we just want to say the constant we're going to say word count okay and we want to display that on the screen we put that there go r we run that okay so now let's see if i say the okay you'll see now there's an error happening here unreference word counter so why does it happen it doesn't find the word counter file okay that happens because we haven't actually linked to this here so we need to go here script src we need to link to words.js so now I've linked to my function now we refresh that and let's see what's happening if I now control shift I do this and I say the see no error anymore no error here okay, so there's a counter here say the cat that's the car okay we can go with the car 
the call started with at we can see so now one two three four so that seems to be working fine so the only thing missing now is we need to put the word count on the screen right here for us to be able to do that we need to get to our dom then we need to say word count element we say word count element dot inner HTML is equal to word count okay so let's have a look run that save save that draw r okay so let's have a look now say the cat is jumping up okay so that's working when i delete you can see it picks up these words cat if we go down to there it says one okay there's a bit of a bug there which we'll look into now but our, the gist of our widget seems to be working well now